stuff got really flat. Do you know that Nazi jokes? Yes, it does. And we're going to buy it today. Okay, guys. Hello here. So basically, Steve Cash may have died a week or two ago. So let's react to the finale. I think it's C here. He died from a suicide, not coronavirus. Coronavirus might have been a problem, but... Wow. I just want to join this real life nook. Where's the wizard in? See the last episode. Of, or see my episode. Months ago. You'll be shocked. This message is happening. I can't believe if another famous YouTuber is down. Whoa, that's a lot more subscribers. To be honest, who will take the pets? Because the moon did. Let's imagine being like, uh, you in an unperfect English accent. Do you realize how terrible uh, America is? Very. Yeah, that's correct, Celeste. And you never have it the same again. About this court session. It's really weird. Not that work. Oh, Cadio. It's like, hmm? I'm shocked Sylvester hasn't died. If a cat had a human brain, why is there a dog door? About coronavirus, not this crap. Why did Steve Cash kill himself? You to raise that most YouTubers had tried to store. Who will take the pets, though? And why is no one really talking about this? How did they not find out about this? If it's PewDiePie being dead, I just go over. In my view, go viral. Nothing will ever be the same, but be funny. If 
basically at basically like your own mom. I thought he went to. I thought they were in trouble because of what Sylvester did to get money. I'm not just going to spoil it to you. Check out my other video or the Sylvester gets a job video. You'll find out. And if you could do that in real life and not get caught at all, you know how how could he easily tell it was just a cat? Try to use your social security number for your pet. Dude, I've, when when he got there, he would obviously be able to tell it's a fucking cat. I don't know if he'd get in trouble or not. They would just laugh and say, and call you an idiot and a loser. This is a fake series. He didn't actually talk. This is a real talk cat, and if all this actually happened, it'd be pretty shocking. I'm pretty sure this guy'd be. This is not the real news. This is an act. That's an actor. Fake news. Fake news. That's somewhere. That's just a courthouse. His local courthouse he got. That. Well, here's a shocking thing. All of it, the last videos he posted are actually eight months older. For what they seem. The video just saw was probably like around Valentine's Day of 2019. Not January 2020. He only did that for a reason. He actually posted videos he already made. Here's what you can tell. GG. Next video we have. We have. Who is Todd? I think it will explain something really weird. And tragic at the same time. Unlike a PewDiePie, but still. And that's why I swore off the video. I know it's a horrifying story. It probably won't ever happen to anybody ever again. I'm never going to do that again. Hey, watch out behind you, man. Stop! <laughs> it's in all. If these are real talking cats, I'd just be flabbergasted. And this guy would be put in Area 51. At least he'd be able to see it. If he was a bit, if, if he was allowed to tape it, it'd probably be most views be on YouTube. Okay, Sylvester is actually still alive. Get it out of your systems, okay? That's, that's the 
If there's a guy that can make guy that can make cat talk just by owning them, that'd be top notch weirdness. That'd be weird if something like that was real. If he's a real talking cat, this guy, he'd be studied a lot. I'm pretty sure they brought him there if he's become Neville. Well, he'd be sent. <laughs> like, if he better off to apply for the CIA to know about features exchange. That's not real. He did that himself, and he put Gibson right there. And they pretend, you know, he just he was like, what the hell? If these cats crack could actually do that, that'd be f***ed up as hell. When, don't even ask me, I'm a bitch. I nearly got locked in my account completely, because some Ram Korean shithead tried to copy me. Well, if he does that again, I'll file for lawsuit and sue the out of that bitch. I'm just reacting to my views, and YouTube does allow that. These plans are terribly wrong. That Korean asshole. Yuck. And I'm coming for you, and I'll murder you and all your family. Do you even know what I'm saying? Haha. <laughs> I hope you don't, because that'll just get the cops to my door, right? Please take it off, please. But still, why? Why? Well, if video loads, I guess it might help. Rewind. Yeah, about this series. Now let's talk about. Now let's try and investigate about the death of this YouTuber. At the end of season four, when you're going on to season five, look how big this season was. Uncovering the theory of Cole's Mamai. Uncovering a lot of shit about play kids we never want to hear about. Knowing about how evil Rick and Morty was. We didn't do that, haha. And next season, we're going to have some twists about the coronavirus. And it's going to be season of the coronavirus. Season 5. It's going to be a lot longer. I know that April showers can bring May flowers or not. It's the first of May.
on. Why is it taking so long? People, people said he was 40. Uh, actually, he's, he was 37 by the time of his death. This is a different solicitor cat. This is the one from Talk to Kitty Cat. So Sylvester talks to you, cat. And then Sylvester the black cat. Can we talk about Sylvester the black cat? But who will take the pets? How would that person, how did he die? Oh, they're still together. She just doesn't really show. Steve is not 40. He was born 1983 and is 2020. Okay. He was 37 by the time of his death. He never had children. If I found he did like, whoa, he'd been hiding a huge secret. So Lester's not his enemy. Steve Cash was 37. They don't actually have children. They never had children. What if he kill himself? What if he kill himself because he found a kingdom that existed? What if it did, but he has a kingdom? Who would he But he never broke up. I didn't really know that much. Oh, he was born in 1979. Then why is it 1983? Well, that's weird, guys. Maybe he didn't want to share his actual birthday.
about how he committed suicide. We don't know why. But it must have been from depression or stuff like that. Now let's look at the website. About my main channel, as in Bay. I'll get back to that later. About Bloxy World. I'm not developing it, but I'll be there very soon. Bloxy World 2D will soon come out. I'll try to make a Roblox ripoff. I'll go back to the original routes. It may not be a 4 1 rec site. I'm not a Steve Cash fan, but. But what we can learn from this is maybe depression, don't let depression down on you. Even though about there might be coronavirus, don't let it, don't let it pressure you. You need to get help if you can't afford it. Well, fuck. I don't know what to say to you. There is no SteveCash dot. There is no SteveCash dot com. It seems like. Oh, the two and a half million subscribers by the time of May first, twenty twenty. Did you do something to the Shut the fuck up, please. That's a lot. Whole lot of views. My mom been on YouTube since two thousand six. But she killed herself nearly three years ago. And the third anniversary is in eight days. But I don't give a fuck about her. There weren't anything in here for years. That was like my old cat before she died. Ellie. If it was Ellie. Like. She actually. You know. Like. I was like. Oh my. Those are steep caches. <laughs> Those were steeps. They told me that the cat we had was in the hands of Steve Cash before. I knew that cat was ten weeks older than I am. No more than that. Not the country? Okay. First off, we wanted to go visit some family that we've never ever been to see. And second, we wanted to go see a football game with the Boise State Broncos opening their season up against the Georgia Bulldogs. 
So we got our plane tickets to fly on out to Nashville, Tennessee. The tickets to the game sold out in 14 minutes, so we never got them. But it really didn't matter because we were so excited to go see my sister Casey, my brother John, my niece Carol, and my nephew Justin. I made my sister give me a tour. Now we're going on YouTube on our next sponsor. Meta Inbox. I really love this site when using disposable emails for stuff that need email to log in when you don't want to when I'm too lazy to use my actual email. But it'll only last a couple of times. You can, and, and I love how you can choose from 10 minutes, 1 hour, 1 day, 1 week, 3 weeks, or 1 month. It's actually very cool. I'm not going to lie. It's actually pretty cool. And I'm pretty proud of it. So thank them, please. About minute inbox. Use temporary emails for websites you don't need to use your actual email for. Actual email or don't want to use your actual email for. It is completely free, no fee at all. And it's very easy to access. It's even better than 10 minute mail, which is this site. Better than any other disposable mail sites. It has a bunch of different options that you can choose that I really, really love. Just look at, just look at the most popular one. This is garbage. You can't even really do anything to it. It may say it's the best one, but it's not. Yuck. It just makes me want to barf. Or maybe it's this one. Oh, well, they might have an update to their site after so many years. But even if so... Oh, here's the original site. And when a site actually changes their website URL every 45 days, who the hell cares? They probably want to protect their privacy, but what the other They don't have a problem with that. Anyway, just going out We could hear it. Even though more getting quite old. It is better off to say about Steve Cash and stay safe, stay home, and most importantly, get ready for season five. This is Isaac Bay, and we and I am signing out right this moment. Goodbye, me. Goodbye. I oh, hope you had a good journey along. <laughs>